What's up guys, new road to dark matter, you know the drill. And no face cam today, just don't feel like it. Anyways, our last top comment was from Brayden K. He said, do the 1911 next, so that's what we're gonna be doing. Really quick, this is what we got on it. Here are our attachments, quick dot LED, sound suppressor, reinforced heavy barrel, 14 round fast mag, and the airborne elastic wrap. This loadout was actually given to me by somebody on stream. Uh, if you guys wanna come check out the streams, we were streaming, uh, we were just leveling our weapons up yesterday. We we're having a good time hanging out. Really quick, here's the camos I have gone. Spray is done, stripes is done, classic is almost there. Geometrics done, flora is done, science, we're gonna need to dissect the shooting enemies behind cover today. Here's the loadout, tack mask, scavenger, gung-ho, lawbreaker, stim, tommy, field mic, and we have this. I think we're gonna change out the field mic because we don't need to do flora. We'll do a trophy system, fuck it, why not? All right, let's hop into Nuketown. So there was an update to Cold War today. They added uh, Santorinium or something like that. It's a fire team map, I played it. It's all right, it looks nice. It's fun if you play it with friends, but you know, besides that, nothing too crazy. They added a sword in. I'll get to all the DLC weapons and everything once I uh, finish Dark Matter. And I think the map Express is coming, which I'm pretty excited about. That map's pretty fun to play on. I'm hoping they start bringing back some other maps. It's just nice to get some new maps coming in. And I'm glad that uh, they didn't take out Nuketown or the Raid Crossroads. I think Raid Crossroads is highly underrated. Those are two very good maps to grind on. Or to just play in general. No, I'm, I'm glad they're not taking them away. I don't know why. Shipment and like shoot house were constantly taken away last year but i'm, gl I'm glad they they learned from that They're like hey we're not, we're not gonna fuck up like they did so we're gonna try to get some kills behind cover i know i think the way it works is you can get kills through walls like wall bangable services like the fence and like the garage door and if like 50 percent of the enemy is either like hiding like this by a wall like where you can see half of them past like uh some railing or side of a house or something or if half of them is over top of cover i think it's half at minimum so they can't just have like a, a nipple hair poking out like it, it needs to be at, at at least half of them covered so i guess it could just be a nipple hair poking out sometimes i do be getting camos pop up for people just running past like this railing and such we're gonna try to see if we can get multiple that one might count so he's partially behind that door but another good spot is right across these windows somebody's already up here i feel like every time i try to go to a specific spot oh nice one dipshit don't see me climbing through but anyways as i was saying every time i try to go to like a specific spot that someone tells me like oh yeah you should go here this is a good spot to do this then i go there there's somebody already there so i'm like fighting them for the kills I, j I just rather like get out of there and go get my kills somewhere else there we go see right there behind fence that counts as behind cover we got lucky and got the hit mark on the first shot so we can just keep shooting in the same spot i thought i had tack mask or maybe that's the the minimal effect from tack mask still got blinded it's not hashtag cool this guy might count i don't know how i didn't get double there Jesus, tack mask like doesn't do anything. See, people peering over that window there should count too. Half their bodies holding out. And I think I, I read somewhere or someone was saying that they have to be aiming down sight, which I don't believe. I don't I don't feel like that's a thing, but it could. I, uh, the way they put these cameras together, it wouldn't surprise me. That's the weirdest spot I've ever seen. He's sitting on the flower bed. Don't you fucking try to do anything. Okay, if I could aim, he would have died. Let's see if we can challenge him across from window to window. There we go. That might count. That won't, because he dropped and I didn't kill him. Now, one of the, the main priorities for this uh, this challenge is to actually kill them, so... That's a hurdle we're going to have to climb. That was a dirty shot. Now, I know people are going to be like, why aren't you using a Kimbo? Why aren't you running around doing a Kimbo? I honestly feel like I can get five times in kills behind cover way more consistently if I'm just single shotting it in hardcore. So every time I play like core or hardcore, the comments are always like, you guys are always like, oh, why are you doing this? You should be doing the exact opposite. So I'm doing me. That's what I'm doing. All right. I think we we're only one away for science on that one. So let's see how many we got. Oh, okay. Yeah, we got a few that game. So it shouldn't be too long. Anyways, uh, I'll probably use Akimbo's for the other pistols. At least if I don't need to get like the five kills or do any specific like long shots or anything. But for this pistol, I don't feel like Akimbo's very like that good on it. Much better as just a single pistol. But what I think would be cool, and they I know they probably would never do this, 
But since you are, you can already hold two pistols using a Kimbo, it'd be sweet if you could hold two different ones. And I just want that so I could work on two guns at the same time. That'll probably never happen. It'd be kind of sweet though. Can you imagine like a, a di like a, a Diamedi and a revolver? One in each hand? Shit would go crazy. I think that's a kill behind cover. We're just gonna sit up here if this guy's gonna keep going there. Oh, we got two guys that want to go there. This is perfect. Do not go in that room. That's our room. I'll fucking end you. Yep, that's easy. We'll get this done in no time. Oh, if I'm not dumb, I'll get it done in no time. Easy. And we're four away now. I will sit here in ADS. I do not care. Easy. Reload the one bullet we shot and we're right back onto it. That's what I have to do to get behind cover done. That's all I'll do. He's moving too much. That's another one. Jeez. You see how good this thing is? Just one shot. Just take your time. Look at that. Up. He's going to go there. There we go. That's so easy. You literally just got to hold your ground with it. I think that's the challenge. That's gold. Is it? Show me the camo. Nope. We're close though. I know for sure we're close. Come on. I know you want to peek it. We all know you want to. I'll sit here all day. No, I won't. I have five. I sat there the whole time and still missed a shot. I had two shots at it. Oh, now we have to do a whole nother game. I guarantee we're just one off. I, I'm going to be mad for a one off. All right. Well, while we're here, I wonder if we can have two pistols on this class. And then we'll just work on the other one. I think my Diamati is really close. So let me put that on as the secondary. We'll do the same build. And then for the Diamati, we need one more two kills without dying. More kills behind cover. A few more five kills without dying and headshots. So Diamati should be... But maybe we'll do a two for one. Maybe we'll do a two for one today. Since this one's going to be a little short. All right. We are literally one bullet away from getting this gun gold. We're just going to stay ADS. Someone's going to peek over something. They're going to die for it. Maybe that counts. He's halfway over. Let's test the theory. Yep. Okay. So if they're either vertically or horizontally 50% of their body behind the cover, I think that's a point blank kill. I think that's how it works. Yeah, okay, time to tear shit with the Diamati. Jeez, these guys suck. Oh my god, it reloads so quick. So I mentioned it at the start of the, the game, but you know, we've been streaming us like grinding guns and stuff, getting them leveled up, getting them ready. So when we go to get the video done that we can just get them gold pretty quick. And yesterday I hit a pretty nasty tomahawk. So I'm going to, I'm going to play that footage a little more careful around corners, except for right here. Oh, somebody clipped that. That guy just got fucking bodied. That was fucking dirty. I, that was, that was one of the two tomahawks I hit that stream. That were just nasty. So if you guys want to see that kind of stuff live, come on and come on and stop by the Twitch. All right, let's see what this bad boy looks like in gold. There we go. I honestly think Flora looks better. Why is only this part of it gold? I'm I know for the FFR I had a blueprint on. This I do not have a blueprint on here. I will show you. Secondaries 911. That's what it looks like gold. That's gross. This needs to change. It needs to look like that, but gold all over. That's even worse. See, they have diamond figured out, but they need to get dark matter and gold. They need to they need to get on that. So let's see how far we got with the diamedi. Stripes, pretty much there. Classic, we'll get. Science, we actually got a lot. We're we're almost done with that. So if you guys want to see me finish the diamedi next episode, let me know. If you want to see me do a different gun, let me know. It doesn't matter to me. Uh, if you like the video, like it. Dislike it if you didn't. Sub if you're new. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.